CDU General Secretary Paul Zimiak said in an interview with the Swiss newspaper Neue Zuriger Zeitung, quote, The Green Party wants a left republic. They want to uncontrollably turn everything on its head. We want a politics of the center. We want to cleverly modernize our strong country with reason, reliability and new ideas. First of all, whenever a right-winger says new ideas, I have to think of Dave Rubin, so... Great job, Paul. You made me think of you as an idiot. Then again, the rhetoric you and your party are starting to seriously uh, use now to talk about the Green Party is something I thought you discarded about 10 years ago, finally. As if the Green Party still is a radical movement, a radical party it was in the 1970s and 1980s. It isn't anymore. They are a very moderate, center-left-leaning party by now. And you talk about them as if they are some Marxist revolutionaries or something like that. And the truth is, I wish they were, and several members of their base wish they were, but they are not. But still, right now, they are our best shot to get you people out of government. And there's a very good reason why that should be the goal. And that is actually in your statement. The CDU governed Germany for nearly 16 years now as a senior coalition partner. What did you do to modernize our country in that time? You didn't really mod uh, modernize the police force or policing in general and the military and the way it's structured. Luckily, a lot of your reforms showed us the rot in those systems, so great job there, but you're now standing in the way of actually solving these problems, the systematic problems with policing and the military. So there's something you have to get out of the way for. Same with the digital infrastructure. This pandemic has shown that Germany is really bad at it. We have a lacking digital infrastructure. Digitalization has been the uh, job of the transportation ministry. And it has been run for 12 years now by its CSU minister. Per first Peter Ramsauer, then Alexander Dobrindt, and now Andreas Scheuer. All three bungled that job. Because for all three, the only thing that was, that mattered was getting money for infrastructure projects into Bavaria. And also doing populist politics in order to help their party, the CSU, to win elections in Bavaria. And now we have to pay the price for that. And not just in terms of the economy, but also education. There's another thing. Your party has or was the main driver for the so-called G12, the Abitur, the highest German uh, school graduate that you can get after just 12 years so that student pupils get become college students quicker. You also pushed for uh, streamlining college more so that students, college students, and uh, get finished faster so that they can get into the economy first in order to earn more money. All for the economy. And most most states since then have backtracked, backtracked on the G12 and gone back to, well, for the Abitur, you need 13 school years, not just 12. There are, of course, whole other issues with the school system in Germany. That's just one of them. And there are also different other factors where you have not modernized this country and where you have held it back, like the EEG, the Erneuerbare Energiengesetz, the Renewable Energy Act that was written and implemented by the Schröder government in the early aughts, which you people under Merkel hollowed out. You actually delayed the German transition to full renewable energy. And now you're crying about, oh, we, we, we can't exit coal prior to 2038 because we are going to exit nuclear energy way too fast and renewables are not up for the task. Yeah, there's a reason for that. 
and you use the same argument to continue to buy gas from Russia. But do you know the reason for that? It's because you people exit the exit of nuclear energy, which was timed with the expansion of renewable energy in Germany, a plan made up by the Schröder government. And then, after you exit the exit from nuclear energy, you capped the EEG, then Fukushima happened, you got scared, and then you exited the exit from the exit, and suddenly the entire timeline was messed up, and of course we could, won't have enough renewable energy for all of Germany in time, because you slowed everything down. And instead of speeding things up since then, you actually have slowed it down even further. You have done nothing to renew Germany in the last 16 years. And a lot of the temporary bad reforms, neoliberal reforms that Schröder implemented, Hart's fear and similar ones. Some of them were only supposed to be temporary. You made them permanent. So stop with these new ideas and we are reliable and we are reasonable. Last week, the Constitutional Court told you that your environmental protection law to fight climate change was not sufficient enough to meet the demands of the Paris Climate Accords. And a lot of scientists say even those are not enough in order to actually curtail the worst aspects of climate change. So if we want to talk reason, yours, you don't have it. Yours is lacking. Yours is not existing. Re it would be reasonable to actually try to outdo the Paris Climate Accords and that's something not even the Green Party seriously is planning to do. So to call them radical or insinuate that they're radical is ridiculous on its face at this point. What they're pro uh, proposing is barely reasonable. It should go even further. What you are proposing is so far from reasonable, we need to find a new word for it. Because it's not just inefficient, it's something else.